Oh, hello, Ricardo. Any exciting news you'd like to share with your mom today? You know I love hearing good news. Hi, Mom. What kind of news are you hoping for? A job change, a promotion, or maybe a new romance? You always have such high expectations. Exactly. Perhaps there's a lovely girl who's caught your attention, or a big career opportunity on the horizon? I can feel something exciting is coming. Mom, it's okay to call just to see how I'm doing. Not every message has to be about a major life update. Sometimes a simple chat is nice. Well, I heard a little rumor that you've been spending time with someone special recently. Can't blame a mother for being interested. I just want to stay updated on your life. Are you spying on me again, Mom? We've talked about how uncomfortable that makes me. Trust me to share things with you when I'm ready. I prefer to call it a mother's intuition. We moms have a knack for sensing these things. It's not spying, it's just caring about your well-being. If you must know, yes, I'm seeing someone. But we're keeping things casual for now. There's nothing major to report yet. Aha! Uh -huh. So there is someone. I was just fishing, but it seems I've caught something. I'm glad you're opening up to me, Ricardo. I'd rather you hear it from me than from rumors. It's disappointing that you've been using my friends as sources of information. So, when do I get to meet this mysterious person in your life? I'm excited to put a face to the name. I'll think about introductions when things get more serious. Your intense curiosity is why I'm careful about who I bring home. You tend to bombard people with questions. Intense curiosity? I'm your mother. It's my right to know who's becoming a part of my children's lives. I just want the best for you and Lindsay. This attitude is why Lindsay's relationships keep failing. Her last boyfriend couldn't handle the lack of privacy because you wouldn't give them space. Respect boundaries, mom. That's a bold statement. Lindsay just seems to pick men who are afraid of commitment and aren't financially stable. I'm just looking out for her future. Do you realize that grilling her boyfriends about their finances and expecting them to support her and you is a sure way to scare them off? Let her live her life without your constant meddling. I'm just making sure she finds someone who can provide for a family. It's a mother's job to ensure her daughter's future. You'll understand when you have your own kids. Lindsay tried to keep you out of her love life, but you still managed to cause problems. That's why I'm keeping my relationships away from you. I hope you can respect my boundaries too. I've always encouraged both of you to find partners who are financially secure. It's for your own good. Can't you realize that? I just want Lindsay to have that stability. But if it's causing tension between us, I'll try to step back a bit. Hey, Ricardo, why don't you and that lovely girlfriend of yours join us for a family dinner again on Sunday? I can't believe you came alone last time. Family gatherings are always more fun with everyone present. Look, Mom, I stand by what I said. You will meet my girlfriend on my terms when it's the right time. I need you to respect my boundaries on this. How many times do you need me to say it again, Mom? You're being stubborn again. Nothing is stopping me from finding the girl and introducing myself. So don't play smart with me, young boy. I just want to get to know her and make sure she's right for you. Mom, that would be wrong on so many levels. You wouldn't dare. Please, Mom, don't make this awkward. Let me handle my own relationships. I won't, but I'm just saying that I always can. It's important for me to make sure you're with someone who truly cares about you. You will stay out of my relationship. I will not have you getting involved the way you are involved in all of Lindsay's relationships. Lindsay's love life is her own business, just like mine is mine. <laughs> we will see. Your sister found such a nice man this time. I'm so proud of her. I'm just making sure your girl is good enough for you. I only want the best for both of my daughters. Mom, I found it absolutely disgusting how you are being sickly sweet to Henry just because he is from a rich family. There you go again, flushing all your values down the drain. Money should never be the sole basis for approval. Henry is a wonderful man from such a polished family. What's wrong with feeling good when my daughter makes a great choice in regard to something? 
I'm just happy to see Lindsay happy, regardless of anyone's financial status. Just because his family owns a chain of popular fast food restaurants, he's a great choice. That shouldn't be the deciding factor in whether or not he's a good partner. Isn't it wonderful? He will inherit everything one day and Lindsay will be set for life. I'm so proud of her. Financial stability is important in a relationship, but it's not everything. That's sick. I really didn't like the way he was behaving with Lindsay. I couldn't put my finger on it, but it was making me really uncomfortable. And there you were, brushing his ego constantly while completely ignoring Lindsay. I want someone who respects me for who I am, not for what they can get out of me. Wow, jealous much, are we? You should be completely ecstatic that your sister found her soulmate. He is everything a man should be and more. I'm sorry if my happiness for Lindsay seemed excessive, but I truly believe Henry is a good match for her. Don't let him flatter you with presents. I'm telling you, the guy gives me the creeps. Material possessions shouldn't overshadow true affection and respect in a relationship. He is the only man Lindsay has ever brought home who could stud all that I had to tell him. It's refreshing to see someone who can handle our family dynamic so well. And that is part of the problem. I don't want someone who can just tolerate our family. I want someone who genuinely enjoys being a part of it. Now, all that is left to evaluate the girl you are seeing. I promise I won't interfere, but I am curious to learn more about her. You will see her when I decide that is final. I want to make sure our relationship is on solid ground before introducing her to the rest of the family. Oh, come on. At least tell me something about her. It has been such a long time since you have given me any kind of good news. Just a small hint, please. Okay, fine. But you have to promise me that you won't try to get over-involved, okay? I'll share a little, but I need you to respect our privacy. I won't. I promise to keep my distance and let you take the lead in this. Your happiness is what matters most to me. All right then. Her name is Quinn. She is a business graduate. She is the sweetest, kindest, and most selfless girl I have ever met. And I really think there isn't much time left till I finally introduce her to you guys. She means a lot to me, Mom. And I hope you'll give her a chance. Hmm, that's interesting. She has a degree, so that's a good thing. But I'm still not sure if she's a worthy partner. I mean, all that isn't really enough, is it? What is she bringing to the table? How will she benefit our family? I'm just concerned about your future, Ricardo. I want to make sure you're with someone who compliments you in every way. Again, with that materialistic talk. It should be enough for you that she makes me happy. Mom, if you keep up this behavior, I will never introduce Quinn to you. I am not like Lindsay. I will not let you interfere in my relationships. Please, Mom, just trust me on this. Okay, fine. You can introduce me to her whenever you want. I'll try my best to keep an open mind and give Quinn a fair chance. Your happiness means everything to me, and if she makes you happy, then I'm on board. Mom, I can't believe you! And I can't believe what you did. You were engaged to that girl and you still haven't introduced her to me? It's like you don't even care about our family anymore, right? Her name is Quinn and she is my wife now. And I will never introduce her to you, especially after what you did. Your behavior was unacceptable, Mom. You got married? That stubborn girl? She went ahead and married you after I warned her to stay away. She's clearly manipulating you. Stop trying to change the subject. I can't believe you tracked down my girlfriend and actually threatened her. How could you do something so vile? You actually told her to her face that she was a destitute gold-digging orphan? I told her the truth. She's not good enough for you. Divorce her immediately. She's just using you for your money. Are you in your senses? I'm not going to divorce my wife just because you said so. My wife and I are not going to forgive you for what you did to her. You've crossed the line, Mom. Wake up, boy. She works full-time at a charity organization. She has a business degree and she works at a charity rather than getting a real job. 
She is clearly living off you and her good-for-nothing parents did the same foolish volunteer work before they died. This is a penniless family that will cause you lifelong problems. I can't believe you think like this. As per usual, all you think about is money. Well, let me give you some clarification, and then maybe you will feel some remorse for what you did. Quinn works for a charity owned by her extended family. Her parents were philanthropists, and she works as a marketing and communications manager for the charity. She is not simply a volunteer, and neither are her parents. A family of philanthropists, you say? Why, she must be loaded? From what she told me, I thought the foolish girl was doing volunteer work for next to nothing. Maybe I was too quick to judge. With the way you ambushed her and started attacking her for being with your son, I'm not surprised she wasn't able to explain more clearly. But it doesn't matter whether she does volunteer work or comes from a family of philanthropists. That should not affect your attitude towards her. I am utterly disgusted by what you did and you will never get to know my wife. Oh please, at least let me try to make amends. I am your mother. I was looking out for you, that's all. You can't keep me away from your wife. You are going to have kids someday. You can't just keep your family away from me. I will be a grandmother. Please give me another chance, Ricardo. I have already made my decision. I regret even telling you her name. Had I kept that detail from you, you might not have been able to track her down and traumatize her like that. Well, I wasn't here to talk to you about my wife. What I am more concerned about is Lindsay. What about Lindsay? She's doing great. She had some problems with Henry, but I sorted those out. The silly girl actually thought of breaking up with him. Yeah, that. How could you stop her from breaking things off with Henry? Lindsay came to our ceremony, and she had a black eye and bruises. How could you have a wedding ceremony and not even invite me? Your own mother. I would have loved to be there for you, Ricardo. Didn't I just say I married Quinn and you weren't invited? It was a small, intimate ceremony with only close friends and family. You weren't invited because of what you did to Quinn. Back to the point. Aren't you the least bit concerned about Lindsay's injuries? Well, I know nothing about those, so I can't say anything. But I will talk to Lindsay and make sure she's alright. Are you for real? She told me everything. Henry is abusive, and she tried to break things off with him. But you wouldn't let her. We need to do something about this, Mom. It's serious. She was running her smart mouth again, so he must have lost his temper, that's all. No reason to throw away a perfectly good relationship. I assure you he loves her very much. He is always buying her things. Maybe it's just a rough patch they're going through. You can't be serious. No man is allowed to injure his partner, no matter how much she runs her mouth. Lindsay is in danger, and she needs to leave this man now. You are not going to interfere. Nonsense. He is going to propose to her soon. He bought me a lovely new necklace to celebrate. It's super expensive and so beautiful. I would have worn it to your wedding had you invited me. Maybe learn a thing or two from your brother-in-law. You haven't given me anything to celebrate your wedding. Mom, would you really let your daughter be beaten black and blue by a man he just because he has money? Is his money really that important to you? Lindsay is in a toxic relationship, and we need to help her. We can't just stand by and watch this happen. If she keeps her mouth shut, she won't have any problems. Henry always shows me respect. Quinn, on the other hand, has taken away my only son. You are the one with the toxic partner. Maybe we should focus on your wife instead of my daughter. I really need some space from you right now. Your thought process is really something else. It's clear we're not seeing eye to eye on this, and I can't deal with it right now. I did it. I broke things off with Henry, and I told Mom I was done with him. And she can't make me go back to him anymore. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. Good job! I am proud of you, Lindsay. Maybe she doesn't understand because she's old-fashioned and thinks the most important thing about a man is to be able to provide. But it is in no way acceptable for someone to treat you the way Henry treated you, no matter how rich he was. You deserve so much better, Lindsay. I was feeling suffocated with him. He was so controlling and toxic, I really couldn't take it anymore. Every time I would confess my desire and plan to leave Henry, 
Mom would just talk me out of it. He even cheated on me a couple times. I just couldn't ignore the red flags anymore. You did good. Mom is going to sulk for a while, but she will forget soon. I know men like Henry. They don't stay single for long. He will move on with someone else and mom will forget about him. You focus on your healing. It's time for you to put yourself first and prioritize your happiness. I definitely will. Philly's left me broken. I have to get myself back together. Hopefully move into my own place. It's going to be a process. But I'm determined to reclaim my life and independence. Thanks for being there for me, Ricardo. Your support means the world to me. How are you doing? I'm okay. Henry tries to talk to me into getting back together, and I'm smart enough not to fall for his charm. I'm trying to stay busy, but I feel dizzy and nauseous. It's like a constant battle between what my heart wants and what my mind knows is right. Sometimes sadness manifests as physical symptoms. You will get over it in time. How is mom doing? She's being sulky and brings up Henry from time to time, or insists that I find ways to make her more money and be of use. She's... So just like the way she's always been. It's exhausting to deal with her constant nagging and judgment. I see. Well, keep your distance and stay busy. We have to protect our mental health, especially from toxic influences like her. She's going on about you and Quinn as well. She's going around telling everyone how Quinn stole her only son. She tells everyone who would listen how much her kids would have disappointed her. Her daughter only likes deadbeat men and her son cut off contact with her after he marries a girl that she didn't like. It's like she's on a mission to ruin our reputations. Tell me about it. I had to block her number. We got so many blackmailing, harassing messages from mom. She's been spreading all kinds of rumors about us. It's like she's determined to destroy any happiness we find. Wait till you see the social media rants. She puts up so many rants about her ungrateful son and his evil wife. She goes on and on about how she raised her kids as a single mother and provided for them, and they grew up only to hurt and disappoint her. Most people still clear of engaging with her. It's embarrassing and hurtful to see her airing out family drama for everyone to see. Yikes. Mom is really acting crazy, but I can't make the mistake of letting her into my life. I simply can't risk it. She's only going to take away my peace. Besides, I really don't want to stress out Quinn and her condition. It's been a challenging time for both of us, and we need to focus on building a healthy environment for a growing family. Um, is she? We are expecting a boy! Quinn's pregnancy has been tough on her, especially with all the stress from mom's antics. Wow, congratulations. That's wonderful news. I'm going to come and stay with you when the baby's born. Maybe help you guys out a little bit too, if it's okay with you guys. It would be nicer to be there during such a special time. That would be wonderful. Just please don't let mom know. The last thing we need is her causing drama and stress while we're trying to focus on welcoming our son into the world. I won't. Your secret's safe with me. Mom, have you been aware that Lindsay has not been feeling well for the past year? Well, would you look who's here? Fancy hearing from you after such a long time. Wouldn't it be more appropriate to beg for my forgiveness after all that you did to hurt me? You've been avoiding me ever since you married Quinn. Mom, don't stray off topic. This is serious. Good heavens. She hasn't been herself since she left Henry. It's probably her body telling her that she needs to get back together with him. If only she listened to me, she wouldn't be in this mess. Whose body works like that? I'm referring to her constant nausea and dizziness. And she has been vomiting too from time to time. Did you notice at all? It's probably because she is so lazy. Laziness does that to people. Laziness, heartbreak, and the lack of success all contribute to mental problems. And then people start to feel it in their body. Oh no, the symptoms are real. She went to see the doctor and found out that there was some nasty stuff in her system. Toxic stuff. Too much of it, and she could have died. Ugh, she has always been a drama queen. I don't even know where she headed off to. She never listens to me anyway. And you know what? She felt much better when she spent a month with Quinn and me after the baby was born. What? Wait a minute. You had a baby? Are you serious? You were keeping my grandkid from me? When did this happen? How dare you deprive me of the joy of getting to know my grandchild? And you will never get to know my baby. 
So Lindsay began to notice that her symptoms were worse after she ate food cooked by you. So she set up a hidden camera. Huh? What are you implying? What she discovered next caused her to call me frantically crying. I told her to leave everything and move in with me. And that's why you haven't seen her for a couple of days? I think you have finally lost your mind, mom. I see what's going on. So the two of you have come together to conspire against me, right? The footage shows you putting rat poison in Lindsay's food. I can't believe how unremorseful you sound. I was trying to discipline her. She was running her mouth and not looking for better jobs. It was just for a while. I wanted her to realize that Henry was good for her, that she felt sick without him. You are sick. You forced your daughter to stay in an abusive relationship and try to poison her because she left it? All because of your greed. Stop making mountains out of molehills. I didn't cause any real damage. I just used it a little bit. I did it for her own good. Stop trying to make me look evil. Explain that to the authorities. They'll decide whether it's a mountain or a molehill. After being arrested, Mom was put on trial and subsequently sentenced to prison for several years. The court also issued a restraining order to protect Ricardo and Lindsay from their mother, effectively severing her ties with her children. As news of her heinous act spread, she found herself not only incarcerated, but also abandoned by her family and shunned by her friends, leaving her utterly isolated and desolate. The local news coverage of the trial ensured that the full extent of her crime became public knowledge, tarnishing her reputation irreparably. Left to face the consequences of her actions, Mom experienced the repercussions of her overbearing and controlling nature, which had ultimately led to her downfall. As the years passed, she grew old and embittered, her existence a stark contrast to the happy and fulfilling lives her children were leading. In stark contrast to their mother's fate, Ricardo went on to live a fulfilling life with his wife, embracing parenthood and enjoying the love and joy of a growing family. Lindsay, resilient in the face of her mother's toxic influence, refused to let her values dictate her own life. She eventually found happiness with a caring partner, building a life free from the shadow of her mother's actions and creating her own path to contentment and fulfillment.